Guys, welcome back to another video. Honestly, this video is going to be an absolute banger. It's just sheer value throughout the entire video. So make sure you stay to the end. I'm gonna piss a lot of people off with this particular video. The reason for that is because I'm just gonna drop a whole bunch of game, right guys? To the point where you can literally take this video and genuinely, if you literally implement what I'm saying, you can implement the hybrid system, which is literally the quickest way I've ever seen anybody go from zero to 2K to like 2K to like 10K per month for the agency. So make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna be jumping straight into my computer. That's the intro over. Let's jump straight into this. Oh, before I do, like, comment, subscribe. So first and foremost, guys, before I get into this actually, age limitation is actually going up by $200 on the 28th of June. So everything guys in this particular video is actually taught inside of Atrium Meditation. So if you are interested in rolling that, I would do that if I were you, because now is the cheapest it's ever going to be. It's $597 right now. Enough plugin. So real quick, technically I'm actually breaking down how to get to 10K per month in this video in three steps. Sounds crazy, I know. Technically there's six steps, but I can actually break this down in three. Now I'm gonna go quickly, so make sure you actually rewind this video, go slow, just watch it multiple times if you need to, because honestly this is gonna be a genuine banger. So now that we're actually on my computer here's what we're going to be doing first of all you're going to need these things let's actually talk about what you need just real quick you're going to need all these things that i'm actually got here on the screen but you're not going to need all of them at once so i'm just going to read these out real quick so number one is you're going to need an upwork account right and uh, more specifically you're going to need a freelancer account and a client account you don't actually need an agency account i know a lot of people think that you should start upwork and use an agency account we don't need an agency account Right, what we're gonna do is we're also going to use the same email for both of these accounts. So it's gonna be one email, one password, but that will allow you to log and interchange in between your freelance account and your client account. Number two is we're gonna need some sort of social media platform for personal branding, by the way. We're gonna do a little bit of personal branding, so if you're scared of personal branding, don't be scared. This is easier than you actually think. I'll actually show you how to overcome your fears and stuff like that. So guys, as you can see, Instagram is not on here, so I'm just gonna quickly add that just real quick actually so it doesn't confuse anyone. So you're gonna need these kind of like accounts here. Now this is for personal branding, but I want you to focus on one at a time. We'll talk about that in a, in a second. The third thing you're gonna need is a media buy with case studies. The fourth thing you're gonna need is a website funnel to host your case studies on. And for your onboarding process, I actually recommend you use WordPress. Um, and that's if you don't have any cash. Don't use ClickFunnels just yet until you're like making like 10, I'd actually say about five to seven K per month. So don't use, you don't need the actual uh, ClickFunnels. Most gurus just sell you on that because they want the affiliate, affiliate kind of like commission. I'm not a guru, I don't care about that for affiliate commission. Use WordPress and save yourself a whole bunch of money. WordPress literally for hosting, that's what the only thing you need to pay for is literally $3.50 per month. You're going to need one burner domain, and Lemnis. So you're going to need a professional domain, a burner domain to send cold emails from, and then you're going to need Lemnis. So in all, that's going to be $12 for your domains, that's two domains, then $59 per month for Lemnis, so that's $71 per month. Then we're going to need some sort of calendar software to actually book meetings in, such so like Acuity Scheduling, but you can actually use Calendly, which is completely free, and you're going to need a Stripe account. By the way, to get a Stripe account, you need a website. So if I'm being honest with you, the first half of the hybrid system is actually really cheap. Uh, and the only reason, by the way, for the first half of the hybrid system, you, I'll break that down in a second, the only reason why you need a website for the first half of the hybrid system is so that you can actually get a Stripe and have an onboarding process. Technically, your onboarding process can just be built on YouTube because you can just upload seven videos on YouTube and that will be your onboarding process, but it looks a little bit more professional if you've got like an actual website. So Stripe account, realistically, Stripe, to get a Stripe account, you need a website apparently. So, you know, it is what it is, guys. You're gonna need a website if you will. Or you can use PayPal, that, that's completely free. By the way, we're not gonna use like simple invoices this particular time because we can actually use Stripe's kind of like payment links now. They've got some like a really nice checkout page which you guys can go Google right now. Um, and the last thing you're gonna need is sign well outside of Upwork. So the first half, of there's two, there's two sides of the hybrid system, using Upwork and then there's outside of Upwork, right? Which is like cold outreach basically. The first half of the hybrid system is going to cost you around $216 for connects six dollars here for um, a domain that you actually obviously going to have to buy and uphold again we're not even going to really need to use this domain but it looks good anyway so we're going to get it and then we've got three dollars fifty four for hosting which is like you know your wordpress website so in all in all for the first half of the hybrid system you're looking at 235 dollars and 50 cents per month if you don't have that go sell some shoes on ebay go get a, like a, a little part-time job do what you have to ever have to do or whatever you have to do to go raise 235 dollars right now for the second part of the hybrid system, it's a little bit more expensive, uh, just, just slightly. If you've got one first line right, you're gonna need to pay for um, your actual, uh, what do you call it, Lemlist account, that's $59. Then you've got a, a burner domain. A burner domain is separate, separate to your 
internal professional domain, what I like to call it. A burner domain is an email that you actually use knowing full well that you're gonna burn this domain out. So you buy it as like a burner domain and, and hence the reason why it's called burner domain. Then a first line writer to do like 30 emails a day, 25 to 30 emails a day, or even 30 to 40 emails a day, it's gonna cost you about 200-ish dollars per month, right? So you're looking at around $265 per month. Well, if you're sat here and wondering, okay, can't I just skip over using Upwork and just go to the second half of the hybrid system where I hire like a first line writer? I would say no to that. The reason for that is because it literally took me 1,600 emails to individual businesses to land me my first ever econ client. Whereas with Upwork, it literally took me 10 days, or excuse me, 15 days of doing 10 outreach on Upwork. So that's 150 outreach versus 1,600 outreach. Eight months worth of work versus 15 days. Which one would you prefer? There you go. And that's why I don't recommend skipping over the, the, the Upwork stuff if, if you're kind of like strapped for cash. Even if you can just afford to hire a first line writer, I would still say go and use Upwork first and just double your revenue, triple your revenue, and then go and go and hire a first line writer or even just get to 2.5K per month. The second half of the hybrid system with two first line writers, by the way, is going to cost you $200 more. So that's $465. Now, let's actually break this down. So here what we, here's what we've got. We've got the first half of the hybrid system, right? And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an Upwork account and you're going to need a freelancer account and a client account. That's free. You're then going to need to buy Connects at pretty much every single day when you're doing outreach. So don't complain to me about Connects. It's pay to play. That's going to cost you $216 per month. I'll show you the maths in, in a second. Uh, and you need to be 18 plus. You want to make sure that you're 18 plus. If you're not 18 plus, you're probably going to have to start with your personal branding and start doing the second half of the hybrid system from, from the get-go. You have to do what you ever, what, you have to do whatever you need to do or go get a job and then just go and use your job as like a replacement for the first half of the hybrid system and take that cash flow that you're making from your job and just hire virtual assistants to actually do outreach for you. Um, next thing you're going to need after you're 18 is a calendar link. So, you know, some, some sort of calendar software that you can actually use. Uh, calendar is free, so use that. And for the first half of the hybrid system, a lot of people ask me this, but you don't actually need a website because you're gonna be using Upwork as your website. Your profile and your portfolio is going to be your website, if you will. But we're probably gonna to have to build one anyway. And the reason for that is because we need to get a Stripe account. If you're gonna take payments outside of, outside of Upwork, by the way, I am not affiliated with Upwork in any way, shape or form. I believe I have to say that. Plus as well, uh, be careful when you're taking payments outside of Upwork. It's not actually uh, thingy, so I don't really recommend it, to be honest with you, wink, wink. But in long, long story short, you're also going to need a website for your onboarding process. Um, so you don't actually need your homepage or like a, or like a case study funnel on a website. Um, there you go. So technically we don't need a domain, but we might as well get one because we're gonna have a website anyway. So we're looking at about $6 per month and that's WordPress website. Uh, WordPress website is $3.50 $3 for hosting. So again, what we're gonna need, Upwork account, connects, need to be 18. We need a calendar software. Um, we don't need a website, but we're gonna build one anyway because we wanna appeal to Stripe and do our onboarding process. So that obviously by, by the law, you might as well get a, a domain with that. We need $6 per month to uphold, if you will. We don't actually need your, your, your actual website's front page, if you will. Then we're gonna need web hosting to host your website. That's $3.50 per month. You can go get this, go get this from um, HostGator. There you go, you can get it from HostGator. So you're looking at a total of $235, like I said. Now here's the method behind this, here's the method. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start Upwork, right? Because we need, we need cash flow first. Now here's how you're gonna basically break down your Upwork outreach. Number one is, first of all, to apply to jobs on Upwork, there's these things called connects. A connect is something that you actually have to buy on Upwork platform. It's like a credit, if you will. What you need to do is, by the way, most jobs are gonna cost you around six connects to apply to. That's like the upper limit. A job can cost one connect, two connects, three connects, four connects, all the way up to six connects. But most of the time, I just like to work out on the upper limit, which is six connects. Some jobs are gonna cost you four connects, like I said, three connects. But I just like to work out how much it's gonna cost me, like what's the max it will cost me, basically. So. One connect realistically is, it's actually 15 cents plus VAT, so it brings it up to 18 cents. Now, each job, right, if you take the, the, the 18 cents, times it by six, because again, it costs you about six connects to apply to a job, it's gonna cost you about $1.08, um, 0.8 cents, something, $1, yeah, $1.08, excuse me, to actually do one, one outreach. So if you're applying to 10 jobs, all you do is you take the uh, $1 and you times it by 10. So it's $10.80 to actually be reaching out to you know, 10 jobs on Upwork per day. That's gonna take you, by the way, to reach out to 10 jobs per day on Upwork, takes you about 36 minutes on average. I'd call it 45 minutes, just if you're a little bit slower and you're new, new to this, it's gonna, it's gonna take you about 45 minutes a day. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply to 10 jobs per day on Upwork for 90 days straight. 90 days straight, guys. A, a minimum of 10 per day, by the way. Uh, you don't have to work on weekends if you don't want to, so Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm only factoring, you know, five day a week here. So what you're looking at, realistically, the price of this is gonna cost you about $54 a week or $216 per month for Connects. Now, just to give you some numbers and a bit of context, on December the 1st, 2019, I actually started using Upwork and it took me 23, day, 23 calendar days to land me my very first client. But out of those 23 calendar days, I was work, I worked like 15 days, which was like, um, I didn't include weekends on that. I wasn't working weekends. So it was about 15 actual working days to land me a client what was $600 per month times three months, that's $1,800. Plus I upsold them a funnel for $500, right? So I actually made back $2,300 on that particular um, client. Um, or overall over a 90 day period. So that's that's literally 42 weeks worth of Upwork Connect. So I'm telling you, this is ROI positive. Like literally just getting one client is typically ROI positive. You will literally pay for your Connects the entire, almost the entire year. So that's the first thing, start Upwork. Start applying to 10 jobs per day. Second thing is, as soon as you actually start doing outreach, like I'm literally talking like, let's say you begin outreach today, like in the morning, like let's, let's say it's Monday morning, you've started Upwork outreach in the morning. The, the very after that same afternoon, once you've done your Upwork outreach, your 10 a day, go onto, the, onto your client account and then post a job out saying you're looking for a social media manager. Like literally the exact same day. Do Upwork outreach, take a 10 minute break, go look, stretch your legs, come straight back to your computer and then post out that you're looking for a social media manager. Like literally the same day. I'm not even joking. So find a social media manager to out social work for for about 100 to 150 dollars per month. I would stick to about 100 to 120 dollars per month to be honest with you. And that's for 30 posts. It's very easy, this job that they're doing, because we're actually only looking for small ticket social media management clients on, on, on our, uh, when we're actually reaching out to get jobs, to, to close clients, if you will. And we're only realistically looking for somebody to help us create like 28 posts a month or 30 posts per month, like $2, $3 per post or whatever it is. If you're doing 30, that's like 90 bucks. Basically, I just give them an extra $10, $20, $30 or whatever it is. So look for somebody who's 100 to $150 per month per client. You're gonna pay them on, on like a monthly basis, fixed basis, basis as well, at the end of the month, by the way. And again, a lot of people ask me, when should I look for a social media manager? Like I said, start your Upwork outreach on day one. At the same day, like 10 minutes after you've done your Upwork outreach, you've done 10 outreach now, start literally post that you're looking for a social media manager. Third thing is, you want to focus all your energy on getting client number one. And once you've got client number one, right, you want to repeat this process um, to get client number two, three, four, and five until you stack up to literally 2.5K net profit after, you know, um, outsourcing costs, that is. By the way, like I said, it took me about 150 outreach on Upwork to land me my first client. So you should, you, you realistically should be looking at about maybe 150 to 200 outreach per closed client, which is actually good. Cold emails is way worse than this. I don't know who told you guys you could do 100 emails and land one client like that that does not happen like that no wonder why everyone's kind of like failing failing with agencies now that's the first half of the hybrid system use upwork find social media manager focus energy on scaling to 2.5k net profit once you've done that here's the second half, second part of the hybrid system to just literally take you to the moon now that you're making 2.5k here's what you want to do you want to find a niche you want to identify a niche do you actually want to work in or that has a that actually not not just what you want to do but an actual niche that is actually growing over time that actually you can justify and actually show me research why that's a good niche if you will then you want to make sure that you can identify a problem a pain problem in there that you can actually solve because that pain problem will become your actual service so find a niche with a problem so that you can choose your service once you've done those two things niche with a problem you want to find a media buyer or a team member that actually can solve that problem. So let's say you're doing e-com, you, you found that e-commerce, vegan brands is what you want, want what you want to go after and you want to help them with, with TikTok and you, you can see a lot of uh, vegan brands on TikTok just going viral and everybody's looking like they're, you know, TikTok's up and coming if you will. Um, so you've got e-com brands or e-com e vegan brands and you've got uh, TikTok, that's your service and you've actually done the actual research behind that and you've, you know, reached out to people and said, you know, you, you've tested out your, test, you've tested to see if that's actually hot right now if you will which tiktok actually is by the way just don't take my word for it though go and actually do the re research yourself so that's when you actually start looking for a tiktok media buyer so you found your niche with a problem now you found your expert now you have everything you're in business now you're technically in business outside of upwork right now so what you're going to do now is you're going to actually start building your actual i should i should have put this on your actual on, on, on the actual page here but long story short now that you've actually found your media buyer that you can actually leverage their case studies right again the non-disclosure agreement and the fair use policy of allowing you to do this is inside of age limitation itself um the actual contract and whatnot but long story short it's not easy to do this obviously 
it's difficult to do this, but it's 100% worth it. You can look on Facebook, you can look on Upwork groups, excuse me, Upwork, Facebook groups, LinkedIn. You can find media buyers from there. And what you wanna do is you wanna take their case studies, put them on your website so that your website looks like a funnel and it actually has actual case studies on it. Now, once the fifth step is, or should I say the second, te technically it's the second step of that, of the second half of the hybrid system. But long story short, step five is, once you've got a media buyer or a team member that you're happy with, right? You wanna hire, and this is, you know, you've got, you've got the back end sort of, sorted out basically. You wanna hire an actual expert first before you do outreach. So then, and the reason for that is because when you're reaching out to brands, they wanna see that you've got some sort of case study. Like, like you actually put a one line case study. Like, hey, John, personalized first line, I just helped this brand go from zero to whatever it is in X amount of time. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't actually be able to have that line there if you don't have a, a media buyer. Is what I'm trying to say. So use a, a media buyer's case studies so you can actually have a one line case uh, case study kind of like sentence in your in your outreach. So you then hire two virtual assistants for roughly about two hundred dollars per month each, and you're going to get them to send around thirty to forty outreach per day each. You could try bump it up to fifty, but it will probably be a little bit difficult to be honest with you, just depending on what outreach you're doing and the sort of level of personalization. I've heard people pay literally like three dollars an hour for like a hundred outreach per day. So I don't even I don't even know how people are doing that. But long story short, um, I would just stick to like you know two hundred dollars per month for a virtual assistant to do like thirty to forty outreach per day. Okay, cool. So now if you've got two of those and you're doing 40 outreach each, you're doing 80 outreach without even lifting a finger. Um, now, what you can do is you can get them to either do cold emails for you, Instagram DMs for you, Facebook DMs for you. You can even do like TikTok DMs or what, what, whatever it is. And it's going to cost you about $400 per month, basically, um, for, the, for those particular um, two, two first line writers. Now, the bonus after this is you basically obviously, so Upwork, stack up to 2.5K. Hire two virtual assistants. Train them to do outreach for you. Now you've got your media buyer as well, by the way. So you've got your virtual assistant, you've got a media buyer with case studies, you then use that case study as like your messaging. Now that you've got your messaging and obviously your back end set, set up, obviously you've got an expert, that expert's allowed you to use their case studies. So you've got those things kind of like set up in the background. Then you go and find two virtual assistants, one or two, you can actually, I technically would go and grab two, and you train them how to do outreach. Now that, they, they, now that you've actually got a case study, you train them how to use like Lemlist, you train them how to do Instagram DMs, you train them how to do Facebook DMs, and you basically just go and, go, go, go and get them to do outreach, a whole bunch of outreach for you, like 30 to 40 a day each. And that's how you're gonna start landing a whole bunch of meetings and obviously you close those meetings. Now the bonus on top of this, right, that really, really works for the second half of the hybrid system is to actually start introducing some content creation. Now I know that a lot of people are scared of like starting YouTube channels, which you shouldn't be, or like TikTok, you're scared to do, put content out there. But honestly, I actually really, really recommend creating one piece of content per day on like LinkedIn and then connecting with a whole bunch of people in your niche. So for example, the, one of the ways how I got my very, very first um, real estate client, actually back in September 2019, I actually was just connecting with a whole bunch of real estate agents, right? And I was posting out a whole bunch of content on Facebook ads for real estate. So I literally just go to Google and just type in, um, Facebook ad tips for real estate agents. And I'd literally just read something, soak in the knowledge, understand it, but then create a video around it or create a piece of content around what I've just read. Like literally, you don't even need to come up with your own content these days. It's literally nuts. There's so much content out there, you can just literally revamp it into a different format, like literally. And you literally, it, obviously put it into your own words as well, so you can't get done for pl plagiarism and whatnot. Not, not like anybody's coming around to, give, to, to tell you off for of plagiarism. So here's what your actual schedule should look like. So now we've got all this kind of like method in, I wanna wrap this up real quick and show you what your day should actually look like. So obviously you wake up whenever you wanna wake up, or when, you obviously adapt this to whenever you need to, but here's what a day should kind of look like if you want. So, you wake up, you do your morning routine from and then you get into work. So 9 a.m. to like 9.45 a.m., that's 45 minutes, you're supposed to be doing upwork outreach. That's the first thing you need to do, equals first thing. It's the first thing you need to do because this is the main focus right now until you get to, until you get to like um, 2.5K net profit, USD that is obviously. Then once you've done that, for example, and by the way, this is always, this probably will always be your, your, your main um, kind of like day-to-day number one task, your number one IPA, which is income producing activity. So from 9.45 to 10 a.m., that's a 50 minute break. Come back to around 10 to 11. What you're gonna do is then you're gonna start checking in on your cold emails from your virtual assistants. So this is literally the exact same morning routine I had. Woke up, had my morning routine, I'd get into my work block, I would do 15 outreach on up per day. Once that's done, I'd have a break, come back, and then I'd look at my actual virtual assistants, you know, actual first line writers. My days are a little bit different now because I've got a little, little, bit more, little bit more going on, but you need to stick to this. 
stick to this until you get to like 10K, 20K, and then you can start changing stuff up. We'll talk about that in, a, in another video. Then what you do is, so from 10, 11, 10 to 11, you're checking in on your cold emails from your virtual assistants by going into like an Excel sheet. I, I explain this in HR but you go into an Excel sheet and you just go through the actual first lines they've wrote basically. Once you spell check those, get them sent out basically. Get, get them all sent out via Lendlist or do, get them to do the outreach. Basically, you're just checking in on your virtual assistants. If they're, if they're doing outreach on like Instagram, then obviously you check in on them um, and see how the outreach is going. Then you want, what you want to do is you want to take a 50 minute break after that. And then what you want to do is after that, you know, 11 to 12, if you haven't already, by the way, so 11, 15 to like 12, you're looking for a social media manager or a media buyer, depending on the stage that you're actually in. Then you would go for lunch, you would come back and create one piece of content per day. So as you can see, you're not actually doing that much work. Um, and then after that, you're pretty much done for the day, uh, except for adding some prospects. So the same prospects that you're actually, you know, reaching out to on like doing cold emails, I would actually just go and help give them like a Facebook follow, like add them as a friend on Facebook or find them on LinkedIn and add them. LinkedIn does have that 100, 100 connect limit, I, I think it is, 100 connect limit per week or something like that. But then after that, you're going on break, it's a quick 15 minute break. And then after that, at like, tw at like 2.15, you're just basically all the way until you, you finish your day, whenever you wanna finish your day, it's up to you. You're just on sales calls, you're replying to prospects. If you And if you don't have any sales calls or anything, or anything to anybody to reply to, go and chill. It's basically it. Now, I know that was very, very quick. I went through that extremely quickly. This could have easily been like a, a 60 minute video, but I don't want this to be like extremely, extremely long, to be honest with you. So just a quick summary, break this down in three steps. Use Upwork to scale to 2.5K with small ticket social media management clients, right? You can obviously do this with Facebook ad clients or TikTok ad clients, it doesn't matter, realistically. I would probably just stick to social media management clients just because it's easy to outsource and it's cheap to outsource. And the clients we're gonna be looking after there or get going on, go, going for, if you will, using Upwork will be small ticket. So the outs you don't want the outsourcing cost to be crazy. So if you're trying to do so, if you're trying to do a hybrid system where you're doing, you're looking after, you're trying to go after Facebook ad clients, but they're only charging, they're only paying you a thousand dollars and your media buyers charging you 750, you're actually gonna make less than your media buy, literally. So I just, I, I would stick to social media management clients if I was you. So once you've got to 2.5K, you wanna then hire one to two virtual assistants to do outreach for you, to get higher ticket clients, such as Facebook ad clients, TikTok ad clients, email marketing clients, SEO clients, that sort of stuff, outside of Upwork. So the reason for this is because you wanna to get to 2.5K, Upwork, get that cash flow, invest in virtual, virtual assistants to basically just scale you to the moon. Now you've got, 80, you've got 80 outreach per day going out from two virtual assistants. And these are to higher ticket brands, if you will, um, or businesses, whatever niche you're in. Um, then free, as you have, as you've got starting to get more and more free time, right? Because you've got virtual assistants, I want you to start introducing some sort of personal branding element where you actually start creating videos, creating content around your service and why it helps your niche. So if you're talking about TikTok ads for vegan brands, all you would do all day every day is just give tips about about um, TikTok ads for vegan brands. That's all you would do. That's one piece of content every day. It doesn't have to be long. It could be like a literal, you could literally use TikTok to do that. So you're practicing what you preach, if you will. So you would, you would do that. And that's actually gonna strengthen your authority. And here's, here's why this is a killer. When you actually start doing outreach to people, right? It doesn't even matter what platform you're, you're doing it on, whether it be cold emails, Facebook DMs, Instagram DMs, they're going to look at your profile. If you spark interest, that is obviously, they're gonna take a look and to see, to see who you are. Your actual digital kind of like profile online lives online. Your, your, your digital persona, if you will. So they're gonna go and check to see if you are actually a person who you say you are. So if you reach out to a brand, like a vegan brand via cold email, you're talking about TikTok, they're probably gonna take a look. They're gonna probably gonna like Google your actual, um, like your, your website, the, the actual back end of your domain. That's gonna rewrite them to your, to your website. If your website's got a social media link on it or your name, they're gonna actually go and take a look at Nosy at your, at your social media accounts. So make sure on your social media accounts, they're seeing that you're actually talking about TikTok ads for vegan brands. If obviously it's vegan brands that you're reaching out to, obviously just using that as an example. Now, realistically, this is all to strengthen your authority. So when people do look you up, which they will, you're actually, you, you look strong basically. And I recommend actually starting your personal brand just ASAP, like start that yesterday, to be honest with you. Just don't let it take away from the main first bit of the hybrid system, which is Upwork. Do your Upwork outreach first, then you can go create your content and stuff like that, or, or, or just follow this right here um, if, you, if, if you want to. So anyway guys, Hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, a, a like, drop a comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please, please, please watch this video back again. Follow it. There's some golden nuggets in here. You, you Don't let this go over your head is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. Peace.